to the town administrator's, <coughs> administrator's report. Ed, uh, do you have anything to report? First, a uh, couple things. Number one, uh, this Thursday coming up, I'll be attending a meeting of the North River Commission to discuss the Ludlow's Ford project. And you have a copy of the memorandum that I prepared for the Conservation Commission and the North River Commission, and also a uh, photograph of the area and how I've divided this project into <coughs> four areas. And, uh, and we'll address the concerns of the North River Commission Thursday night in Norwell. And basically, there are four areas in uh, Area 1, which is an, an area located on the waterfront uh, close to the dam. Um, this had been um, clear-cutted some time ago, but all that vegetation has grown back up. And so the issue that the North River Commission had has kind of like gone away because Mother Nature has taken over. And as I mentioned in my memo, um, it now harbors uh, wildlife, it acts as a natural rain garden. It does not require any more uh, remedial care by the town in that regard. Uh, area two, which is the area along the waterfront towards the uh, bridge, this is an area that is, as I mentioned, chock full of invasive species. Um, we have two alternatives. One is to do nothing and let the vegetation exist. Number two, hire a specialist who um, can remove the invasive species at a fairly substantial cost to the town. The consultant that I met with uh, last Monday um, mentioned that it would be probably in excess of five figures. And then uh, and replace the uh, invasive vegetation with non-invasive greenery uh, along the waterfront. So that's something that I'm going to discuss with the North River Commission on Thursday. That area three and four, these are areas back off the the uh, the riverfront, and number three, which is behind the area that I just mentioned the, with the invasive species, that area can be mowed on a regular basis as it is right now, and the consultant believed that it's doing its job and in the uh, regular mowing is getting rid of the invasive species that have grown up, you know, back off the bank. And then area four uh, is an area that we've, uh, we've loaned from the, uh, the, borrowed some material from the DPW, and uh, we plan on hydro seeding that area in September. So I will be filing a notice of intent with the Conservation Commission. Um, to that regard. So I'll be explaining all that to the North River Commission on Thursday evening in Norwell Town Hall. And the second item that I just wanted to make the uh, board aware of is that uh, Mr. Stone and I were talking about the planning board having their public hearing on their uh, marijuana uh, bylaw uh, this Monday coming up at, uh, on July the 31st here at Veterans Hall. Yeah, I'd just like to say on that subject that this uh, this is an article that uh, is coming from the Board of Selectmen, the final step uh, that we need to take to uh, reflect the views of the public and this board uh, on uh, having pot shops in the town. And uh, so I think it's an important uh, hearing and uh, where it's uh, uh, really sponsored by the Board of Selectmen, I think it would be important uh, to have us represented. And uh, I, I, I will be in attendance. And uh, certainly uh, the entire board would be welcome to go. It's, it's a public hearing on the matter. So I just thought that it was a reminder to the board about the public hearing. Thank you. I, you know, just one, one thing further on that, uh, Massachusetts, the legislature has come up with uh, rules and regulations regarding uh, regulation of pot shops in towns, and towns that voted against pot shops uh, in the initial referendum uh, can have the Board of, Sel board of Selectmen uh, initiate uh, 
prohibition against pot shops, and then it has to be backed up uh, by a town meeting vote. And then towns that voted, with the public voted for pot shops, have to have a, a referendum on, on a ballot, uh, as we did. So we had a referendum on a ballot, and uh, we, we weren't re required to now that they've finalized the, the rules and regulations. So the public might want to know that. Um, can we backtrack one second, Mr. Chairman? Ed, sure. Let us forward. Could you just let us know what the invasive species are? I think it's a foreign wart. Does that sound like a, wart. a plant? Yeah, foreign yeah. wart is a plant that yeah. is invasive and does get into rivers and into freshwater ponds. So that was one of them, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I have a question on that, Mr. Chairman, uh, to Ed. Um, after the Thursday meeting and your presentation, uh, will there be a vote by the f uh, fisheries folks to accept that plan of action? At that time, do you do you anticipate? You mean the North River Commission? I'm sorry, the North River Commission. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean it's pretty clear cut. I mean, right. it, you know, all the rhetoric about trees coming down and all the all the vegetation being wiped out, that's all moot now. And so the fact that we're down to two issues, one is, okay, we understand that area number two might take some some dollars on behalf of the town to clear that up if, if we choose to do that. And the other one would be the hydro seating, and that's just a simple notice of intent that I would file with the Conservation Commission in order to do that in September. So is the overall plan <coughs> based on acceptance by the fisheries folks of this plan, we would then take immediate action on some of on parts of that plan? Well, the, the one that we would take immediate action on would be the notice of intent for the Conservation Commission on the hydro seeding part of it. The other one is going to take uh, some thought, you know, as to does the town want to spend five to ten thousand dollars to clear plants from, you know, from the river's edge? I had a couple of questions on that actually. When you do go to this meeting, would you mind asking them would the invasive species spread and if it's a less expensive option to simply, there's a way to simply stop the spread? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, they, I mean, there's some real uh, professionals on that commission, and I think that that's the, the you know, the, almost the basis for my appearance Thursday night will be on that one particular project. Right. Thank you. One other thing on Ludham's Ford. Um, we had a meeting here several weeks ago discussing that and um, there was a fellow that came up with um, a question that he saved for after the meeting rather than during the meeting which would have been handy but he said that when they put the new bridge in uh, up the pedestrian bridge upstream a little bit they moved a large rock and someone inadvertently put it right where the horses cross and um, they have trouble now with the horses crossing the um, the uh, small brook that feeds into um, into mm -hmm. the big brook, or the big river. And um, he was wondering if we could have somebody move that back. And I, I'd be happy to show DPW or whoever would be responsible where it is, because I went and took a walk with them because I've never spent much time in Ludham's Ford Park. It's um, no, Are you good. talking about from the park you go west on the trail towards yes. the Hanson line? Yeah. And there's a bridge that was uh, rebuilt by by the scouts. Yeah, yeah, by an Eagle Scout pro mm -hmm. uh, candidate. Yeah, and there's a big <coughs> rock that was moved, probably to make room for the um, for the bridge, and it inadvertently it blocks the horses' access or the access oh, where okay. they normally bring the horses through, and. Um, they, they weren't upset, they were just curious as to whether we could do it or not. And it didn't seem to me to be a big deal whether it was sure. right there or six feet over. Okay. That's it, Mr. Chairman.